This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus, and an interesting time right now for me in gaming, because I'm playing two open world adventure games, and both are good open world adventure games, but one is better than the other. Thing is, the one that everybody says is the best game of the generation, Red Dead Redemption 2, isn't even the best open world action adventure game of the year, at least not to me, because I've been playing just as much as not more, actually I've actually have played more Assassin's Creed Odyssey than I have Red Dead. Now, I've gotten over 20 hours in both. I probably have close to 40 hours in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The reason why is because I love playing that fucking game. I love diving and digging into everything that's into that game. With Red Dead, not so much. And it seems to be the theme for me now with, uh, with um, Rockstar Games that started with Grand Theft Auto 4. Way back when I first started doing YouTube, one of my first early videos was a video where I proclaimed that Sleeping Dogs was a better game than um, Grand Theft Auto 4. I felt like it was a lot more fun, it was a lot more structured, um, the things to do in the world were more enjoyable, and the characters were more enjoyable. And it seems to be a repeat of that with um, Red Dead. Um, now, I didn't have that moment with G Grand Theft Auto V, but at the same time, I didn't find myself being that enthralled by Grand Theft Auto V for the same reasons that I were, I was kind of put off by um, Grand Theft Auto IV and couldn't understand why people thought this was, this was like one of the best games that it came out at that time. Um, I mean, simply put, Rockstar has a formula, a tried and true formula. And it works well for them. It works well for people who are serious fans of Rockstar products. Um, but it's so much um, repetitiveness in there. And, you know, I'm not trying to make that the basis of my argu argument, just the repetitive nature of them. Um, because all games have are repetitive to a degree. It's like, as much as I love the Assassin's Creed series, all of those games up until Origins were pretty much cookie cut out the box, same repetitive things. But it was a repetitive thing that I enjoyed. I don't enjoy the repetitive nature of Rockstar games. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of meandering. There's a lot of like stretching that they do in these games. I think I said it when I was talking about... Um, the uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 uh, thing, and as well as Grand Theft Auto 5, is that there's a lot of stuff that you do in those games that you really shouldn't have to do. Um, that should be more of a choice, but they're part of the story. And in order for you to progress the story, you have to proceed to do these activities. Like for Red Dead Redemption 2, for instance, Sometimes you may have to race someone. Um, sometimes you have to herd cattle or whatever um, it was. I think it was sheep, the first thing I did. Uh, there's fishing missions that teach, you know, do things to teach you about the fishing mechanics. Um, and then you go back and do another fishing mission. Um, you know, it's just a lot of stuff that's tied into storylines. It's just like, okay, this would be cool if it were a side mission that I stumble across, but this is you actually taking time out to stretch the story and have me do these like weird fetch missions and things like that, that really don't matter. Whereas with Assassin's Creed, I feel like when you do a mission, part of the story, it's a part of the story. When you do a side mission, it's a side mission. It's something that you choose to do and that I find myself enjoying because there's so many weird, strange things going on in that world that I'm drawn to. Um, there's not really much that is drawing me in Red Dead. They haven't established anything that has made me be like, okay, I have to go and like do this because this is something that 
I would find fun. Um, you know, whereas like in Assassin's Creed, they have the whole bounty hunter thing where there's different bounty hunters um, out there, different um, mercenaries. Sometimes they'll come after you. Sometimes you can hunt. You got to go after them. Um, it's a, like cat and mouse game and like trying to like see if you're good enough to best and knock off all these people on the list. Um, things like that, you know. Red Dead has some bounties, but the bounties are a lot more fit structured around the like main storyline type of stuff. So I don't feel the need to go out and do the bounties unless I'm really, really desperate for some money to upgrade something or to get something. Um, it seems to be my whole modus operandi when it comes to Red Dead. It's like I try not to stray too far from the story because the story itself has enough like filler to keep me like wanting things to progress whereas with the Assassin's Creed I do that stuff because that stuff is just cool to do and it just feels fun to do it doesn't feel like while there is some obligation I think more so in Assassin's Creed to do side missions as you level your character up to a certain power level so that you can um be able to like further the story along in that route they intertwine it in a way where like the subs they have sub storyline like plots that you can build yourself up to so when you get to the big main line um the whole main line part of it it just reacts a lot better um somebody put it's a lot tighter than Red Dead Redemption. That's the thing. For all the great, like, crazy moments in the, like, atmosphere and detail that Rockstar can do, they're not very tight with their, like, storytelling and their, uh, or at least how they tell their stories, I should say. They tell interesting, sometimes great, compelling stories, but it's like to get to that, like, satisfaction. You go through way too much shit. And I don't feel that way with um, Assassin's Creed. Um, I don't didn't feel that way with Spider-Man, for instance. Like, Spider-Man would have some tutorial and stuff in between. But they show you, like, oh, well, this is something that's actually a side mission. So, if we want to go and do it, do it. If not, fine. It's just, we just letting you know it's there. You know, they let me know it's there and then they leave me the fuck alone. And they don't ever try to draw back on it. To make it a part of like, you know, part one of five of a story, which I hate in Red Dead. I hate the fact that they break up each mission into like chapters like that. Um, it worked for Heist and GTA 5. Oops, and I dropped my controller. Sorry about that. But it doesn't seem to work to me in Red Dead that way, much. Especially since some of the stuff that I've had to do. It's not that interesting to like break it up. It was like you could have just summed this up in a twenty minute, like bam, bam, we're done, end of story type of deal. But yeah, people seem to think that this game is the best game of the generation, and I for one don't see that. Do I enjoy playing? Sure, but I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that it's something that I wouldn't have a problem not coming back to for a while um I actually again I actually sat today and played five hours of um uh, Assassin's Creed and I had to actually physically stop myself because I was like yo it's getting late you need to do some stuff you need to take care of some business stop it now because I would have probably played another three hours yeah swear to god because I was having so much fun with the battles that were going on in the like things that was hunting down so red dead it's like after two hours i feel like i don't get anywhere and I, that's a problem whereas in the other games i feel like i progress and you know but it is what it is i mean i'm not saying that people need to like hate red dead i'm just telling you guys how i feel about the situation that's it um you know just sharing my opinion and you guys take it however you want. Anyway, as always, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. 
It's your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.